So welcome back guys. Uh, today we are going to do uh, nested virtualization on Google Cloud Platform. As uh, Google does not allow us to do uh, Windows virtualization or Windows VM instances on Google Cloud in a uh, free trial pack. So uh, we found a method to bypass this and uh, we'll be installing Windows virtual machine inside a uh, Google Cloud VM instance. So for that uh, we have to do a nested virtualization and uh, we'll enable the nested, uh, license, nested virtualization license on our instance. Uh, also we'll be doing a VNC setup, VNC server setup that we seen in our previous video for Kali Linux. So uh, we'll do VNC in a setup and then uh, we'll install VirtualBox and then we'll do uh, we'll install our Windows uh, operating system on that VirtualBox. This video will be uh, long, so I am taking this video in a part. First part will be like doing nested virtualization. Second part where we will be installing our Ubuntu and uh, set up our VNC server. And in third part we will be doing uh, we will be installing VirtualBox and Windows operating system. So let's jump on to our screen. So, uh, for nested virtualization, we'll be creating Ubuntu instance with the N2 machine type, uh, which have uh, four virtual CPU cores uh, and two physical cores with a uh, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, and then we'll set up our new uh, disk, boot disk with a Ubuntu operating system and 100 gigs of memory. So let's go back to our instances, name it as a Ubuntu, and we'll the machine type is N2 with four cores four virtual cores and 16 gigs of memory let me scroll down here and change our boot uh, disk type to ssd and we'll create a boot disk to ubuntu and we'll keep 20 or uh, 0 to LTS and I'll set up size 200 gigs and select OK and create so it will take minute or two to create our instance once that uh, we don't need to start this instance we'll just stop it and then create our image from the install disk by using this google cloud console command let me stop my kali instance Oh, we got error. This zone uh, does not have enough resources available. Okay, the same error which we got while creating uh, our Kali instance. So, now it's will create again a new instance here. Uh, we'll name it as a Ubuntu. And yeah, uh, we have successfully created our Ubuntu VM instances. Uh, do not boot it up, uh, just hit the stop here. And uh, we'll start our cloud shell here. On the right hand top corner, you can see the button to activate the cloud shell. So once the instance is stopped, uh, We'll use this command to create an image file with uh, with the license activation enable VMX. This will uh, allow enable the license of virtualization. Using your cloud shell machine. So 
so our instance is top and our cloud shell is uh, booted up so i'll just uh, open up my notepad to modify this command we need to do some modifications uh, so uh, the cloud compute engine image we have to create in image uh, create and this will be our uh, image name uh, when we create a new image then source disk could be like our uh, instance name uh, in this case it's a default ubuntu one and source disk zone is uh, the zone where we hosted our vm instance so in this case our zone is asia south 1c and license is by default so i'll just copy this and paste it here oh where is paste okay and we'll hit enter so give the permission authorize and it can be set on per command okay we have to set the project to project id first and my project id is a k e s h do you want to continue yes and uh, do the project property must be set to the valid project id uh, not a project name okay it's not it should not be a project name our project property is this one so i'll copy this again and uh, we'll add the project id yeah we are here now in our project now we'll hit again the same command let's wait for a minute or two maybe will take some time to create our uh, image and you can find the images in the top in the right hand left hand side corner it's somewhere here yeah here images let me open this in new tab it takes some time to create our instance so let's wait So uh, yeah, this operation is completed. A name with a nested virtual nested Ubuntu image, and it's created. So let's check under the images, and you can see nested image is created. Uh, archive size is zero byte, disk size is hundred gigs. Uh, it is still in uh, creation progress when ending operations. Now it's uh, meanwhile uh, we'll close our cloud shell and delete our instance here. and deleting the instance let's check what's the status of image oh, okay is it still in pending status yeah our instance is deleted let me check so yeah our image is also created let's create now again the instance as a we have mentioned in our steps let's create installs and we'll name it as ubuntu nested and we'll again select the regions uh, same as the previous one and N2 with again standard package 4 virtual CPU and 16 gigs of RAM yes correct that's what we selected while creating our instance and make sure you change the boot disk and select the custom image rather than the public images so in custom images the image which we just created nested Ubuntu image and uh, i'll set again the ssd and 100 gigs of ram sorry memory and that's it let's create our instance again let's 
So yeah, our uh, instance is created now and now let's take a SSH and see if we enable the VMX or not. Check that uh, there is a one command or uh, grape CWMX and proxy PU info. Uh, is our instance SSH? Yeah, here. And let's paste our command here grape CWMX CPU proc info. And you guys can see we have eight goes here for virtualization. And also, you can do grape not just VMX in CPU info. CPU in not grapes. We do cat and CPU info, and we can see all the information related to our CPU here. And VMX flag is enabled for everyone. So yeah, in next part uh, we'll be uh, installing all the necessary package for uh, desktop environment and we'll enable the VNC server yeah and let's wait on the next part thank you